amenities, it's going to tell us that there's no change around us right now. In fact, there's no distinction between the river and the trees and the bank and the air and you. It's all one. All those things you just listed are illusions. But common sense tells us that of course there's a river and it's changing. Of course there's a tree and a river and the bank and the bed and you. And these are all distinct things. Of course. Common sense tells us this. Eh? So, Parmenides, while you provided a clever trick, a clever little argument, you were nevertheless mistaken. Zeno says, not so fast. Common sense is not the end-all, be-all of... Uh, you know, knowledge that you think it is. It's not going to be, uh, be able to automatically refute everything you think it can. In fact, common sense results in a lot of contradictions, results in absurdities, the things that you think can't be true, but common sense tells you must be true. So for Zeno, I am, you know, walking further down the river, and I am walking back to the camera, uh, common sense tells you that I've moved. And Zeno says, that's not possible. Because if you move, right, if you move, then you've crossed an infinite. And it's impossible to cross an infinite. Therefore, you didn't move, and therefore, common sense is flawed. To see how this is supposed to work, let's take a look at this ship here. You think it's moving from the left-hand side of the screen to the right-hand side, but in order for it to do that, it has to cross a halfway point. Okay, well, you think, no problem. It crossed a halfway point, so it can get to the end. Not so fast. It has another halfway point to cross. And then after that halfway point, it has another halfway point. And then after that halfway point, there's another halfway point. And then after that halfway point, there's yet another halfway point. In fact, this can keep going on indefinitely. Now, as before, we can't just simply reject a conclusion and walk away. Yeah, Zeno's argument can be put into a deductively valid argument. That means if the, premise, if, the conclu if the premises are true, then the conclusion must be true. If we reject the conclusion, we have to reject at least one of the premises. And figuring out which premise to reject can be a little complicated. Because every time you reject a proposition, you are committed to its logical contradictory. Okay. Well, uh, you've seen this before, right? <laughs> I've showed it in the video, and we, you, by now this should be a little bit of a... <laughs> you should expect this to happen. Here is the argument that Zeno provides, or at least a reconstruction of it. These are the premises upon which the conclusion relies. If you reject the conclusion, you have to reject one of these premises. But if you reject the premise, if you reject one of these propositions, then you are committed to its logical contradictory. Here are the contradictories. So, which one and why? Why?